There's a car build that I've been following on YouTube for the last couple of years. It's finished and it's gonna be in Lexington, Kentucky this weekend. I've been talking about doing this Ferrari road trip since I got the car. I don't have an excuse here. The weather is absolutely perfect. Sunny and 70 degrees, high pressure, basically no chance of rain. I think we're going to Kentucky. Hi, Old Keegan the Vlog here. Welcome back to the channel. And well, we're on our way to Kentucky, as I guess you probably gathered from the intro. It is five minutes until 3 p.m. on Friday. See how long it takes, about a nine hour trip. Tomorrow. Remember when I said it wasn't gonna rain? Well, well. We are right across the street. It's eight o'clock, the car show starts at nine. I think my dad's already over there, so uh, let's head across the street. So it's always interesting to go to the regular parking lot of a car show like this and see what people drive to the car show in. But check this out. I'm Keegan. Hey, Keegan, yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> nice to meet you. Good to meet you. This is my dad, Noli. Nice, hey, to, meet nice you. to meet you. Uh -huh. I I love your, love your. Thanks, I didn't know you were coming. I, I wasn't until I watched your video and oh. saw that you were gonna be here. So I grew up in Louisville. Yeah, I just decided to jump in the car and, and, uh, cool. and come see it in person. Cool. So the ghost stripe looks so, so good in person. You got to be careful when you spray it because it's pearl. So you, you got it's basically one one pass. Yeah, and that's it. It's cool to be parked next yeah. to one that's original. yeah yeah that's neat. I got it in mine. Grill on it. The Joe Alexander one? No. Yeah. So that's the new one that's being produced, but it it's not a flip top. Yeah. No. That's the hard the solid fiberglass. Yeah. He put it on eBay and I saw it. Yeah. And I said, "Where's the flip top?" He said, "We're working on that." Yeah. You want me to sit in a key and a pool? I don't know if you ever sat in a two fifty. I've never. I've never. Yeah. Oh, I could get used to this. <laughs> that's luxury. <Yeah. laughs> So there's a little more room than the TR3. So I just, I mean, oh, it's yeah. so cool to have watched this car yeah. being built over the last, yeah. I mean, we yeah. just found Absolutely. your channel a couple of years ago, but to actually sit in it is, yeah. uh, this is amazing. 
That's so cool. Over white. It's no Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> No. Got 308 in the parking lot. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> you want to know the truth? I'd rather have it than the Ferrari. You can't. Can you work on a 308? <laughs> actually, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, the 308 is is a dream to work on ask compared to a DeLorean. I was just going to say, ask him if he can work on a DeLorean. Yes, that's I another. can. But I like wow. this. This this is that's neat. um again, it's a matching piece to my um, my little battery hold down. That's ARE that yes. does that. Uh, plus the Le Mans little uh, fasteners. You can get those for the TR3, the Le Mans hold down. Yeah, actually, uh, I think I have those. They're quite nice, actually. Yep. They're yep. easy to adjust your valves. Yep. Yeah. Um, you about right here? <laughs> no, this, this, uh, this hold down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because the stock ones are fairly thin, they actually can bend oh, your uh, I just uh, <laughs> tore apart <laughs> a tires. TR3 uh, engine that I picked up. Yep. And it had a block heater on it. So yeah, somebody was driving that yeah, through the Canadian winter. winter. Oof, oof. This had a block heater on it. Oh, wow. So people were plugging it in in the winter Whoa. to drive it through the winter. They yeah. can believe that back in the day. Yeah. I mean, it was a regular car. Yeah. So. good idea yeah. mm -hmm. I like that but I, I was uh, looking for ideas on where to have all the people that have worked on the car sign it under the truck that brake line where mine is oh does he yeah it's the first, I walked the whole yeah, line came back his is the first Can one I talked to him about it no there was nobody at the car yeah, I don't you know you could catch him and talk to him about that see yeah. what he said this is how sharing of information worked before the internet exactly. oh this is it yeah this is this is yeah. this is the proto forum Again, with uh, what shows up to a car show uh, in the regular parking lot. Boop. Okay, those of you who watch my channel, what do you think the uh, the joke video clip is going to be here? Wait for it. Here it comes. It's coming. So enjoy one of life's finer pleasures. Pardon me. Would you have any Grey Poupon? But of course. Grey Poupon, one of life's finer pleasures. B for Bentley. Nice to meet you, Dale. Nice to meet you. Uh, so what is this? It's a 1949 Triumph. What's the what's the mo the model? TDA 2000. TDA TDA 2000. It's wow. On the, uh, oh, there it is. The 2000 Triumph. Wow. Manufactured by Standard, Standard Motor, Motor yeah. Company, Coventry, England. TDA 1799. TDA is the model number that designation. What engine you got in there? The Chevrolet V6 came out of a 1994 Blazer. 3.6? Yeah, well, I don't know. 3.4? That's got to be. Yeah. What is this for? The old Wooga Wooga horn. That's the trafficator. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Excuse me, I'm turning. Yeah, it's got. Yeah. Wow. That'll make it move. <laughs> yeah. 
All the money's underneath. If you actually bend down and look under the car, you can see yeah. where the all whole the money suspension was spent. and everything. Yeah. It's got full tip frame under it. Yeah. This, this wasn't just like oh, wow. slap an engine on the frame and not the No, that's, that's some engineering had to go into that. Yeah. That's wild. Uh, I like the driving lights up front too. We were back following behind you and I was just looking at it. Six eighty seven eighty eight, the one lap America, and Charles drove it, and he uh, it was you know it was a promotional piece for the roaster factory. Okay. And uh, so he had all these stickers and good stuff on it, and he had a lot of modifications, triple Webers and an overdrive okay. and a roll bar and this crazy big fuel cell right. that would fit in the trunk powered by twin S shoes, Jim. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. Yeah. yeah. And then. Um, there was no room for a spare tire because it was custom made. It was, you know, all took almost all the trunk up. So they had uh, the spare tire you'll see in the pictures on the on the luggage rack. And wow. they were able to finish, I think, 13th one year. They did pretty well, but you know, they really had fun doing it. So he got tired of the car apparently. They put it in the barn up in the roaster factory. And Jim and I decided we, they, they, when he passed away, his son Albert started selling the cars. And Jim and I decided we were going to try and get it eventually because initially it was just out of our reach. And then we got lucky and called or reached out to him at the right time and were able to purchase it. And uh, then the real fun began uh, because uh, there was a lot to be done. Jim drove it yesterday. It was over 200 miles, I think. And he drove, he drove beautifully. That's awesome. That's his first long trip. When we drove down here out of Indiana and yesterday. So. Hey, thanks for coming along on this little adventure. David Olin, it was awesome to meet you guys. The car looks amazing. Nice job. And thanks to my dad for coming to Lexington and hanging out with me for the morning. Time to get home. See you guys next time. Right, just doing a little uh, cleanup of the car after taking it on a 1,200-mile-ish uh, adventure. Uh, give you a little bit of a heads up on what's coming on this car. Um, went through a lot of oil on this trip, and I don't think it's burning oil. I don't think it's being consumed. I think it's leaking, and it is leaking more under um, highway driving conditions, uh, you know, high revs for a longer period of time than it is around town. So here's what I know so far. Uh, around town, every tank of fuel, I don't have to add oil to it. It's fine. The level is fine. I check it every time I drive it. So um, I don't typically have to add oil to this car unless I drive it for a period of time on, on the highways. Uh, you know, we do a, a, a bigger road adventure with it. So that suggests to me that uh, it's leaking more while it's running. I think I know where, where the source of the oil is coming from. I believe it's coming from the tube that the clutch cable runs through that goes through the oil pan, essentially. So um, I do know that you do, not have to, you do not have to remove the transmission or the engine 
in order to do that job to reseal that. So I will be I will be uh, tackling that in an in an upcoming episode of 308 wrench time. We'll actually get some wrenching in on the 308, but I think I'm going to do that in combination with a clutch job. So anyway, we're going to do that over the winter. I'm not going to do that now. It is September. Uh, it's actually only a day after uh, the the trip we just took. So. <laughs> I uh, really want to get the car cleaned up after that road trip. And uh, I want to keep driving it over the, the rest. This is like the best weather in this part of the country. This time of year, uh, fall is the best weather. So I want to drive it while I can, while I can still drive it. And then we'll, over the winter, we'll look at, um, we'll look at tackling a clutch job. And in addition to the clutch job, we're going to do the reseal on that tube. Uh, and I think that might take care of the leaf. We'll also be in there and we'll see if the rear main's leaking. Uh, we'll replace it anyway. Um, and those are really the two places where I think it's most likely that this oil is coming from. So if you want to watch us do that, like and subscribe to the channel. Also, hey, big thanks again to Chef Tush uh, and Alin. It was great to meet you guys in person. Um, the car is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so inspired to get the TR3 up and running. If you were driving it next year, uh, that would be fantastic. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Something, something, something wrench time. Or rad savers. Uh.